Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and another rockin' review this week. And we have an epic old school toy to review. It's another fast food toy transformer from McDonald's, but this one is from another year. From 2008 so this toy is really old by today's standards and it rolls very well for Mickey D's toy visible head syndrome visible leg syndrome and visible chest syndrome <laughs> I love saying syndrome a lot but before we get on to transformation let's bring in the comparisons with the animated Mickey D's 2008 ratchet we got Cybertronian mode ratchet. We got Pop Changers ratchet. They roll very well. And the only only other 2008 Mickey D's toy I have, it's Starscream. <laughs> I love doing the voice of Screamer. But now I'm getting it down to transforming ratchet. First, flick these legs out push out these doors to form his arms. You can see he's got some arms molded in there. Flip out his feet. Flip out the head. Then there we got Ratchet ready to do battle with Starscream if I can transform him on camera. And flip down his back. And there we got Starscream. I'll get you, Autobot. Yeah, yeah. Take this, Starscream. Ah. You can knock Starscream in the next week. And now for some comparisons. Here they are. Decepticon, Starscream, and Ratchet. The only two 2008 Mickey D's toys I own. Since it's 2003, these figures are really old by today's standards. And they're pretty fun to mess around with and fiddle around with on channel. They won't break on you. Now for some comparisons with Ratchet here. Here is the Pop Changer Autobot Ratchet. If I can get his feet to work with me here. This is probably the better looking one compared to this one. And it's Cybertronian mode comparison Ratchet next to the main ratchet here and I got this transformation remembered because I've transformed this animated Cybertronian mode ratchet so many times I have the transformation down in memory which is how I do all my Transformers toys when I get them. I mess around with them for a while and transform them so many times it becomes second nature. Flip out the head, straighten out his legs, straighten out his arms, and there we have all the Transformers animated ratchets I own as of 2023. Not a bad little collection of animated ratchets. I still need the bigger one in Earth mode. But I got the Pop Changer one, the Mickey D's one. So there's only one more animated ratchet I'm missing. And I want to get Ironhide. But I am missing quite a few Transformers animated characters. I want to get Sentinel Prime. I want to get... I got Optimus, I got Bumblebee, want to get Bulkhead, want to get Jazz, Blur, Prowl, Clip Jumper, let me think here, Lugnut, who else am I missing? Thundercrackers, I got, gotta get me Skywarp. And the bigger star scream. And that's about it in the animated stuff, except for Shockwave. I want to own him too. And that's all the Transformers animated stuff I just showed off today next to the new 
the old but new 2008 Mickey D's Transformer Ratchet. You don't see McDonald's making Transformers that actually transform anymore. After this, after they did like Beast Wars in 1997, and Ormada, and then... Beast Machines, they did Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Armada, and Animated, and that was all the Mickey D's Transformers they made that actually transformed. They stopped doing them because they never put the care into put giving them some transformations. And I loved that, they, that these toys can actually transform. It was a shame they didn't do more, and I wish they did. But that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and the City Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.